Greetings all! Last Outrider here with a strange category of video. This is actually about the multi-worlds theory or hypothesis. And uh, this actually came after somebody watched the video um, on Veritas, I believe it is. It's another science channel and they asked me uh, what did I think of that? Maybe people were just trying to challenge me. I don't know. But I'm going to talk about multi-worlds theory. And more importantly, that multi-worlds theory is actually more controversial than it appears. Because it implies things that academic scientists don't accept as being possible because it goes against the academic dogma. It would require people to say and believe things that if you did, you would be declared a heretic and kicked out of academia. Um, if you want to know more about that, I suggest looking up a little movie called Expelled by Ben Stein. Without going into that topic too much, this very same, how can I say it, idea was actually talked about with Stephen Hawking and he mentioned it in his final paper before he passed that we are getting closer and closer to the inescapable determination that the universe is something that is engineered. And even if it isn't engineered, even if it was purely a, I don't even know how to call it, random, and I, <laughs> I hate that word, process, um, it would still be possible to observe that process from a standpoint of being removed from the system, as in outside of the multiverse or individual universe. And if that was the case, what would observation of our multiverse slash universe do because the entire concept of the multi-worlds theory and in many ways quantum mechanics deals very heavily with how things change when a observer or measurement is brought into the equation. Now, I once mentioned that, and this was years ago, which actually got me into trouble. <laughs> well, not in trouble, but academically, uh, it was, again, unacceptable to postulate the idea that when we look at the multi-worlds theory, it, is this multi-worlds actually a wave function okay and perhaps moments like the big bang are a point when the multiverse or universe was observed think about that so we actually have one universe. When it's observed or measured, a big bang event occurs. The universe, contra all reality, contracts down to a single point. Just like happens when we, you know, observe an electron or measure an electron, it goes dink. And then when it's no longer observed, 
we get this multi-dimensional wave function which becomes everything else you see what I'm saying so we don't actually have multi worlds the universe itself everything around us we only exist when the universe is not observed and when it is observed, it, it, it goes out of existence. Now, this would then show that <laughs> we could actually have a concept of when the universe is observed or not observed. And then it becomes the question of who is the observer? What is the observer? It must be some type of intellect. This we know because it must take a measurement. And therefore it must have, and again, I use this word very, very sparingly, consciousness or intelligence or design for taking that measurement. We know this because that's what we have to do if we take a measurement which makes the waveform collapse, irrevocably collapse, so it doesn't go back to a time pre-waveform. And that's what mean would happen with the Big Bang. There was a time pre-Big Bang, which would have been another multi uh, uh, waveform or multi-world. Then there was a Big Bang, which is a point of observation. Then we go back to a time uh, of now um, of the waveform uh, building again. And how long does that last? People sit there and try to calculate, you know, the uh, uh, fate of the universe. Well, then at that point in time, the fate of the universe could come at any moment. All it requires is an observation. And one observation in one moment, and boom, the entire multi-world, the entire all of existence in an instant, shorter than an instant, becomes a point, one point of reality. And everything ceases to exist until it's not observed again and then the waveform starts to build again. Now, this could then be argued as the reason why, and I'm again going to use this word very, very sparingly, God, doesn't make itself known. Because if it did, the universe would collapse in on itself. The universe would have an observer and therefore couldn't exist. The waveform can only exist when there's no observer. See, you see the, the problem there then? So when they say, well, why is there no God? How do we prove it? They're, well, it is, but it can't observe us because if we do, we cease to exist. And if we, and then, then what's the point? This is, this, this idea, again, was actually broached with people, uh, with Stephen Hawking's and, and a equivalent mental uh, acuity people who see this as not only reasonable but a virtually inevitable deduction that will never be able to be published never be able to be talked about even publicly in academic circles because it goes against the accepted dogma so as his, uh, uh, I guess, dying act, he threw a bone to those of us who, uh, uh, by mentioning in his final paper that um, if we're going to look at the multi-worlds theory and then you would have to explain not only how one universe seems to be organized, but then how an infinite number or a near infinite number, because actually Heisenberg's um, equation doesn't say everything is possible, just everything within an ordered set of rules 
uh, is possible. So again, you have to have that ordered set of rules. The example in the Veritas video is that an electron will never turn into a proton, even in Heisenberg's uh, equation. There's zero possibility of that happening. So therefore, where did the limitation of an electron not being able to turn into a proton come from? That has to be a fixed quantity, a fixed rule in the infinite multiple worlds, which then they're not infinite. They would then become finite based upon the limitations. It would become a set. You see what I mean? Like a Mandelbrot set. It, these are the limitations of possibilities that this function could create. And again, we're looking at a wave function then that throws out all of the different uh, probabilities, which is why probability fits into that equation when determining an outcome um, or, or explaining events. That it's a necessary component. It's a necessary component when evaluating the wave function. It's not a necessary component when evaluating uh, the specific point after a measurement is taken. Now, this video is obviously going to be just a bunch of gibberish <laughs> to a lot of people. <clears throat> but to those who do get it, you will understand what I'm saying. We exist as a wave function in a probability set that is existence, a multi-dimensional probability set. I don't know how many dimensions. People can argue that, you know, is it 5, is it 6, is it 16, is it 12? I don't know. But you would then have a multi-dimensional wave set, wave function uh, probability set, which if observed, would collapse into whatever is being measured, and then when not observed, starts all over again. Uh, that, and we believe that the perception of that event of being observed from the standpoint of being in the wave set would be the Big Bang. This would also explain why things might appear as a hologram or a simulation. These concepts don't really apply, but they somewhat apply because if you're one of the many possibilities in a wave set, does that mean all of the other possibilities are also, in a sense, simulations because they are just probable possibility outcomes? So none of it in that case is real. All of it is a what if in a wave set. So every, so it could be, have the, uh, um, how can I say, components, features of being a simulation, but it isn't quite a simulation because it's just one sliver uh, of the um, wave set. All of this fits very nicely together as a step towards a workable theory of everything even placing a divine observer into that theory of everything as well as a possibility. But it will never be developed. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, just never. And that is my video contribution for today. And I'm just uploading this really for posterity just to say that it's out there on the internet for who knows might watch it in the vast probability of things. <laughs> Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.